Are you currently tracking your sales pipeline? Do you have a way to view the prospecting activities of your sales team? Do you have a way to track which lead sources are bringing you the most business? Zoho CRM gives you the ability to track your company's sales opportunities, called potentials in Zoho. This allows you to track your sales potentials as they make their way through your sales pipeline and ultimately become a won or a lost sale. Many of the companies we work with have no formal way of tracking their sales pipeline. It's usually just a feeling or a general idea of whether we're getting a little or a lot of proposals out the door right now. By formally implementing a sales opportunity management system as provided by Zoho CRM, you always have a quick and easy way to view the health of your current sales pipeline. Let's take a closer look at how it works. From the Potentials tab, we can view all of our company's current potentials. Using predefined or custom views, we can filter these potentials to see our pipeline, potentials closing this month, or potentials closing ne next month, or really any way we'd like to see our potential uh, database. Now by entering potentials into the system, you're feeding your pipeline, allowing for analysis of the current sales information. The potentials are assigned stages, which represent each stage in the selling process. Each stage is assigned a probability percentage that it will result in a closed sale. So as the potential moves further through at the pipeline, the percentage that I'm going to close a sale gets higher. And these percentages are used for us to calculate expected revenues. So if I take a look at one of these potentials, I can see that uh, I have a potential owner and that's one of the users in my company. I can set an amount for the potential or the opportunity, a name. It's assigned to an account and it has a stage. And again, those stages, whether I'm prospecting, whether I've submit a proposal, whether I'm going through a design review, each one of those has a probability that it's whether or not it's going to close. So when I add up all of the potentials I have and calculate those out based on the probability, that's where I'm able to get an expected revenue calculation. So if my probability is 10%, then my expected revenue in this case would be $7,500. I can track what campaign source this potential came from. So I can see, you know, what, how did I find out about this particular opportunity? I can look to a lead source, whether it was a referral from an interior designer or whether it was a trade show or a service department or referral from one of my business partners. So maybe it was just based on an advertisement or a cold call or uh, they called you out of the phone book. But this allows me to track what the lead source is for the potential. My contact is basically my contact for my account. And then I can see other information about the project so I can track uh, who the architect, the builder, or the designer, and then maybe who my main contact is there for these projects. I can see the stage history, so I can see that uh, how I moved through my sales pipeline to achieve a sale. I can track um, activities like tasks or events, I can log a phone call, I can track notes and emails, and I can see a lot of other information that you'll see in subsequent videos about my potentials. So something like this with a custom view, I might want to see what my potential name is, the amount, what my uh, stage is, and then what my uh, expected closing date is. That would be a pipeline. Now speaking of expected revenue and pipeline, we can take a look at the reports tab to get even more information. And when I'm on reports, I have reports for all the different areas of the software and if I take a look at potential reports I can see there are some reports that come standard with the system but I can also customize as many reports very quickly and easily uh, that I want if I would want to see my information in a different way and uh, here are just some examples of some customized reports that are included with our template for example expected revenue next month and this is a based upon my sales pipeline based upon my potentials that have been entered into the system. I can see what stage these particular projects are in. Uh, so I can see if I, get a, if I get a potential to the design review stage, that's equivalent to a 70% probability, which is equating to an 87,500 expected revenue. And so when I calculate all these out, I can see that my estimate, estimated revenue next month would be 
101,000. And that might not be actual revenue coming in the door, that might be expected sales revenue. So sales dollars, not payments received. This is a pipeline analysis for jobs that I'm trying to close. So let's take a look at a couple different reports. So I might be able to run an expected revenue for this year, and that's gonna pull up any uh, potentials that I have that are closing within the year 2011 and give me my expected sales revenue there. And as you can see, there's a lot of other ones as well. Sales by lead source, I can see potentials by type or stage or any open potentials, I can run a report on that. I can see this month's sales, things like that. And if I want to create new reports, I can do that up here. Another way to really get a great view of your sales pipeline information is to look at it, is to create dashboards. And these are just the standard dashboards that come with the MED template for Zoho. But you'll see this are my potential dashboards, but I can have dashboards for all the different areas in Zoho CRM. Um, but these are pipeline by stage. So I can see, if I hover over this, I can see in the qualification stage, I, I have potential equaling the value of 85,000. And as I'm moving through the pipeline, I have um, total value of 25,000 in the needs analysis, and I have 135,000 of proposals that are currently out. Uh, in my design review, maybe where I'm editing proposals and trying to whittle it down to what someone actually wants to buy, I've got 125,000 in potentials at that point. And then this is just allows you to see uh, at where you're at as you move through your sales funnel or your pipeline and start dripping closed sales through the door. Here's another one, pipeline by probability. So I can see I have one uh, potential that's currently at 70%. I have two that are at 50%. And you see the green equates over here to my proposal price quote stage. Needs analysis is red. And I've got one there and I have one in the yellow, which is qualification. I'm just still qualifying that lead. If you look, scroll down the page a little bit, you can see I have this one pipeline by lead source this year. And this is gonna show me my lead sources uh, of interior designers have brought me a, an expected revenue of 96,000. And I can see each different lead source here and how much expected revenue I'm getting from that particular type of lead source. So this is really great. As I'm entering more and more information throughout the year, I'm able to really see where I'm getting most of my business. And maybe those particular lead sources that are yielding me the most sales, maybe those are the ones I start focusing on. Or I could look at it in another way. Maybe those that aren't yielding me as many as much as I think they should, you know, maybe that's an a something for me to look at. Maybe I'm not putting enough resources to getting business from that particular type of lead source. And maybe that's a way that I can grow the business by getting more from somebody that I'm not currently getting very much from. Here's another one, expected revenue this quarter. So I can see, um, and this is uh, for this quarter, and I can see where I'm at in the different stages for this particular quarter. And it just shows you a different type of chart. So these are different types of graphs that we can create. Now, if I want to edit a particular dashboard, you'll see here it has a, I can name the dashboard component and I can choose a source report. So every one of the dashboard graphs use a report to create the data that generates that particular graph or pie chart or funnel, um, funnel component. So the most important thing to remember about the dashboards is that each one of these correlates to a report. So if I want to have a graph that gives me a certain amount of information, I need to create a report that I can use as the basis for the dashboard graph. One last thing I want to show you about these dashboard graphs is how quickly and easily I can drill down on this information to get something more specific. So for example, if I want to look at my referrals that I'm getting, say, from interior designers this year, I come to this particular dashboard component and I can double click on that section. So I double clicked on the blue area, which correlated to interior designers. 
and now it brought me here to its source report so I can see referral uh, from interior designers I have one project in design review it's the rivers project I can click on that it's going to take me to the potential for the rivers project and I can see that the referral was from uh, down here I can look at my project contacts for the designer which is elegant design so I can see okay elegant design with a lead source uh, for this particular project and then I can look at all the different information from it so that's how I can drill down from a dashboard element to a report to an actual potential and now I can start looking at account level detail and more information so this the system, as I start populating it with data, with my accounts, with my contacts, with my potentials, building that pipeline, you get a really powerful tool that allows me to analyze my business from so many different angles. Call it a 360 degree view of what's going on in the company. And that's why we feel using a system like this is gonna reap so many rewards for you and make your company run so much more effectively.